below. My name is Cyclone Solos and we are tracking severe tropical cyclone Kiralee tonight as she makes landfall over the top of Townsville. Now, I did say that we're expecting a high-end Category 2 strength landfall. We're now looking at a Category 3 strength tropical cyclone that's about to come ashore right over the top of Townsville. A very serious situation. I'm glad that I have advised ever, had, had advised everyone to prepare for a Category 3 because this is, this is exactly what we're seeing right now. It looks really messy on the radar imagery that we're looking at now, but it is a strong cyclone as it moves ashore. If you are brand new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. We're getting closer to 10,000 and I would love to hit that magic number sometime soon. Uh, but looking at the storm right now, as I said, sloppy system. The eye of the system is located here where the cursor is right now. Um, some pretty strong winds actually have been recorded. In fact, Flinders Reef, a peak wind gust of 145 kilometers an hour on the western, on the eastern side of the system, which is the weaker side, meaning I have reason to believe that this cyclone might have winds as high as 170 kilometers an hour, far stronger than what we were expecting just a couple of days ago. And it gives you an idea of just how unpredictable these systems are. It was a very difficult forecast. In the end, the forecast that I made about two days ago, where we're looking at a category three um, strength cyclone coming ashore with peak wind gusts of 160 to 100 70 kilometers an hour um, and the forecast where I told everyone to prepare between Cardwell and Bowen for category three strength winds that was the forecast that has ended up materializing from this uh, cyclone um, and yeah the past couple of days it's been a really interesting picture to look at now the reason why we're going with category three status is because of a multitude of factors most importantly is its appearance on satellite imagery I mean it looks bloody beautiful it does uh, for a category three strength severe tropical cyclone it's got some very nice thunderstorm activity blowing up towards the um, eastern side of the storm this is the place where we were struggling to see thunderstorm activity at least initially from this storm and it's been looking really good in spite of some pretty nasty conditions for a tropical cyclone today. So in actual fact, Kiralee has, uh, it's performed terribly in some of the best conditions for tropical cyclones, but it's performed amazing in some of the worst conditions for tropical cyclones. So she's been a really difficult storm to forecast. Already some very gusty winds coming ashore outside of air. They're already receiving wind gusts of around 80 kilometers an hour. And as these browns and blacks start to approach the weather station down here, which will probably happen in the next 20 to 30 minutes or so, the wind gusts will definitely spiral upwards. Um, the southern side of the storm and the western side of the storm is far weaker than the back side of the system. So if it suddenly goes all calm, you're likely in the eye of the system and the conditions are going to be far more significant and treacherous on the back side. And I have reason to believe that this storm has, as I have said, winds of up to 150 kilometers an hour at least, and maybe even in one or two locations, maybe 170 kilometers an hour. Um, Flinders Reef has been the zone where we've been looking at peak wind gusts approaching, I believe, or it's been at least 150. 1314 kilometers an hour sustained. Yeah, 113 kilometers an hour sustained. That's well into category two status there on the weaker side of the system as well. And we're talking about wind gusts of about 150 kilometers an hour. So very destructive wind gusts around the center of Kiralee. She's a dangerous system as she comes ashore. Winds are really starting to spike now um, for Alva Beach around um, air and that sort of area. So they're really starting to spike there and they're now starting to weaken off for Hamilton Island, which is what we were expecting, but still peak wind gusts there of 115 kilometers an hour. That is very, very strong considering how far away Hamilton Island was from the storm center. So as I've said, anywhere between Hamilton Island, including Airlie Beach and Proserpine and up towards Innisfail, they should have prepared for a cyclone and they're gonna get cyclonic winds at this point. For Cairns, I know a lot of my viewers are in Cairns as well. It just looks like the threat right now is going to be rain. Um, there will be some pretty heavy showers combined with gusty winds moving ashore up there. Um, coming over the mountains from the south. So uh, brace for some flash flooding in that area. There's also some very heavy showers um, inland as well. There's a lot more rain to this system from what we were expecting a couple of days ago. The, um, I believe the Mackay radar is down at the moment, but they've had some very heavy rain, uh, rainfall throughout today. In fact, yeah, they, they, I think they had a flooding emergency earlier on where they had some very significant thunderclouds move through about lunchtime today, but they've since started to ease off a little bit and it looks like the rain threat there is slowly starting to ease off, but it won't ease off until later on tonight. But really, the main threat is north of Proserpine up towards Cairns. There's a lot of rainfall that's gonna be coming ashore there. As with all tropical cyclones, if we play back a six hour loop on this tropical cyclone, um, 
you can see just the amount of rainfall that has been moving ashore um, over the hills through here and it's really going to be starting to pick up for Townsville as well so the flooding is only just beginning for this tropical cyclone it's going to be quite a rough night uh, for Townsville and surrounding areas I know again a lot of viewers are from Townsville so if you're in Townsville you should 100% be hunkered down now the gusty rain and wind that you're starting to get is the outer bands of this tropical cyclone the inner eye wall will probably pass over Townsville in about well, I want to say about two hours or so and landfall will probably happen in about three hours time from the time of recording so um, uh, maybe about an hour or so from when you're watching this it's a very close system to the Queensland coast and it has picked up a little bit of speed now if I was to pick an exact landfall site it's probably going to be just towards the southeast of uh, Murtoni. Um I don't know how exactly how to say that actually I can barely read it on this map but it will be between Ingham and Townsville basically in the middle of Ingham and Townsville um, I'll put the cursor where it's probably going to happen and that will mean that the worst conditions will probably be coming ashore between the landfall site and Townsville. Very gusty winds are expected as this storm makes landfall. Um, I don't think we've probably got a model update on this tropical cyclone which I mean I don't expect a model update to have occurred in the couple of hours that we've got until landfall so the models are kind of useless at this point they're really uh, but still saying that 140 to 150 kilometer an hour wind gusts can be expected in the back side of the system which is as i have said the strongest side of the storm um, so yeah the worst is yet to come for some of these locations flinders reef and some of the reef atolls should definitely be out of it by about now but again they're uninhabited little islands uh, so nothing to worry about there but again I'm just going to say um, from this infrared satellite imagery look if you look at infrared satellite imagery on either the Bureau of Meteorology's page or also on windy.com your color scheme will look different to mine I've got a custom one set up through the premium account that I have funded by you guys so thank you so much but you can see um, some very gnarly thunderclouds represented by reds, maroons and uh, blacks and then into the whites. The whites are very strong thunderstorm activity and that's where you're seeing the strongest winds and the heaviest rainfall in the backside of this tropical cyclone really starting to come ashore now in fact it's approaching communities around Air and Alva Beach it looks like Bowen is just going to miss out on the worst conditions from this tropical cyclone, uh, which is good news down there, but they'll certainly be receiving cyclonic winds later on in tonight. It looks like it's really starting to pick up around Bowen Airport right now. Winds 54 kilometers an hour out of the east, and it's only going to increase there. But certainly ground zero will be between Ingham down towards, or well, in the Ingham, Lucinda, Cardwell, down towards Townsville, uh, Cape Ferguson, then towards Alva Beach Air, down towards Bowen. That's where the worst conditions are expected, and that will extend inland to Charters Towers. Now taking a quick look at the Bureau of Meteorology's forecast track map for severe tropical cyclone Kiralee, a category three strength tropical cyclone at 5 p.m. Uh, tonight. It will make landfall probably at around 7 or 8 p.m. local time as per the Bureau of Meteorology's forecast before weakening substantially as it moves inland. The very destructive core has very destructive winds. It goes without saying that this is a dangerous cyclone now. Um, a category three is a nothing to be messing around with. This is a one in 15 to one in 25 year weather event for Townsville. It's a significant severe tropical cyclone with wind gusts approaching 170 kilometers an hour as it makes landfall. Um, freeze that and yeah so category three strength cyclone with sustained winds of 120 kilometers an hour in fact it's probably a little bit stronger than that right now it's still intensifying with peak wind gusts to 165 kilometers an hour and it's getting very close to Townsville 85 kilometers northeast of it as I'm reading off the Bureau of Meteorology's forecast track map and 170 kilometer an hour wind gusts are possible around the center of the system which will most likely be around Townsville calling for that landfall a very well, a couple of kilometers further north in fact we'll, we'll just take a quick look at rainfall accumulation to end off this video but we're looking at around uh, two to three hundred millimeters around Ingham Cardwell and down towards Townsville as well over the next th uh, three days and substantially more further inland as the storm slows down over Julia Creek and then towards Mount Isa now tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening on those updates for Australia Day we're going to know a lot more regarding the tropical cyclones future track it looks like it's going to head into central Queensland and drench that areas but again relatively uncertain now still a lot of rainfall is expected over the next couple of days with the passage of tropical cyclone Kiralee, a landfall site in anywhere further north expecting up to 300 millimeters of rainfall and maybe even more um, if they get themselves under the right shower band so a lot of rainfall is expected and flash flooding is also very likely from this situation so in the end i actually did get the forecast right um we're very very close to getting it right here on the channel um the landfall site maybe not so much it, it's actually going to occur about 50 kilometers up the coast but my gut feeling said category three coming ashore 
and I wish I stuck with it. I, I kind of regret falling back into the Buvman Yolchitz forecast. Um, again, a very difficult storm to forecast, so I don't blame anyone, all the forecast models, or even the Bureau of Meteorology for their messes up, uh, messing up here. This was a very challenging forecast to make. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a rough storm, that's for sure. Rainfall totals will likely be around 400 millimeters at peak. But yeah, make sure you're staying safe in a situation like this. You should be well and truly into your beer supply by about now as this cyclone passes through. Conditions should start to ease off tomorrow morning. Make sure you're listening to your emergency radio so you've got the latest information from either the ABC or another, or another official news agency. They'll be giving you the all clear or the green light um, on leaving when it's safe to go outside after this tropical cyclone. I reckon by tomorrow evening, the emergency response plans will be well and truly into high gear uh, as we enter the weekend. But yeah, it's certainly gonna be a rough Australia Day morning, that's for sure, especially inland around Charters Towers and then inland to around Huandon and uh, locations around Georgetown as well. It's going to be a very rough evening as this cyclone makes passage. Uh, into tomorrow morning. But yeah, that is the latest information that I have. There'll be an update on this later tonight if this remains a category three strength cyclone upon landfall um, all over this, like a chip to uh, tramp to a chip. So make sure you stay tuned. There's no better way to do that than by subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next storm. Goodbye.